Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to talk about how you can dynamically rotate the view of the model. Katia V5 allows you to rotate the view of the model dynamically in the 3D space so that the solid, model, the solid model can be viewed from all directions. This actually allows you to visually maneuver around the model so that all the features in the model can be clearly viewed. This tool can be used even when you are in some other features like uh, the pad or the pocket features. So while the pad definition dialog box is displayed, or invoked, you can freely rotate the view of the model in the 3D space. So I'm going to show you how. There are actually two methods of rotation. One is by uh, actually using the uh, rotate command over here and you can actually rotate this way or else uh, this is one way of rotation so in this way I need to explain you some things which uh, you know some of the users in Kitsi actually don't know so you might be wondering why I'm creating this tutorial because uh, uh, most of the Catio users actually uh, do a lot of stuff so by uh, you know without doing the rotate they cannot really do this. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to share something over here which is really helpful. So let me just zoom into this particular component which you can see here. So I'm going to zoom it into the shackle. So let's say I want to uh, rotate around the shackle and I want to see something. So when I rotate, actually you can see it's not rotating uh, with respect to the shackle. So if you need to set the rotation axis to the shackle, you need to simply uh, press the middle flick once on the point with respect to which you want the rotation to happen. So I'll flick once. Now if I rotate, it actually rotates with respect to the shackle. So this is uh, the one point and uh, this is one way of rotation. There is another way of rotation. Let's just say that I want to just uh, roam around the model. So I'm just gonna, you know, rotate uh, the model like this. So I'm actually using the middle mouse button and right right mouse button to rotate. So in this way, I have rotated. There is another way in which usually you can uh, rotate. That's another the another way of rotation is by using the compass. So just hover your mouse to the compass and uh, click on the orange button, which uh, which actually displays once you hover the mouse on the uh, the small dot over there and just click and just drag it around so you can see that the model simply rotates and uh, it actually you can you know uh, this is pretty comfortable so this kind of uh, options are really helpful when you once you are you know you're a pro designer once you design a lot of stuff and you want you know this actually quickens your work so I hope uh, you keep this particular uh, point in your mind and a uh, couple of other options are uh, that you can actually pan in the y-axis by holding uh, just hover your mouse on the uh, a y line over here and a similar way you can pan on the z uh, the x and the z in this way and you can actually rotate uh, the model with respect to the z y axis by uh, doing this way and uh, same in this way and in this way and if you want to move the whole component with respect to the yz axis you can move it this way this kind of uh, options are really helpful once you are a pro designer so this tutorial actually covered uh, the the basic thing how to rotate and uh, something uh, to uh, to be used uh, once you are really designing something uh, in the magnified mode uh, that is changing the rotation axis uh, the, or the rotation uh, point and uh, another thing is uh, the use of compass uh, when it comes to the rotation of the component so I hope uh, this tutorial is going to help you and please feel free to comment on my video and please feel free to ask me any doubts you have and I'll be helping you out and uh, if you have uh, any further queries of, or if you need any help with your uh, projects that you're working on uh, please let me know and please uh, you know feel free to write to ktia.pro.user ktia.pro.user gmail.com and I'll be getting back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching.